Hey Capricorn, welcome to February. This is your love reading. I'm going to start with singles, then couples, and then undefined relationships. This is Astrid, spirit kitty. She wants in on your reading. Actually, she might be a Capricorn. Isn't that special, mama? Anyway, um, back to the point. So undefined relationships. Those are relationships that are polyamorous, open marriages. Maybe you're dating somebody who's married. Maybe your relationship isn't um, Facebook official. Maybe it's on again, off again. Those will last just because sometimes you'll want to watch your... Uh, singles and couples because certain aspects might resonate for you and then you'll have your own special section. So Capri, oh, I'm going to put where each video segment starts in the description box below so that you can just skip right ahead to your portion, okay? So Capricorn singles, the recent past, um, you might not feel like you have a ton of control over your love life, to be honest. So if you've been dating, um, it's like out of nowhere, maybe people are like, hmm, it's just not like a good time for me to be in a relationship right now. Or maybe you're really trying hard to meet people and then like every nightclub you show up to is empty. Or, you know, maybe they just don't have, you know, the demographic that you're into or something like that. Um, also, they're saying like, but right now, you know, what you want to be doing is letting go and moving on from any preconceived ideas that you have about how to find relationships, about any exes. You've got a lot of subconscious shit that you just like got to dump and be excited about dumping so that you can move on and find the right person for you. Because in the near future here, I do see you partnered with somebody very long term. It's a marriage type relationship, the kind of relationship that ends up um, you growing old together and like actually like dying together. Like you're together until you're like 89 years old, kind of a relationship, like you're on each other's wills and stuff. Okay, so if that's what you're hoping for, if that's what you're wanting for, it's really important that you do your piece right now, which is letting go of any ideas that don't serve you on your path to love and letting go of anybody else that you might be holding on to from your past because that's not creating a space for this new person to walk into. Okay, so what else do you need to know about February? And they're saying, um, oh, this is kind of cool because I think very, very small amount of Aquarius, like 2%. But if you have Capricorn and Aquarius in your chart, or maybe you're a cusp, um, this is very important then for, for at least one of you watching this video, where it's like you're going on a trip and you could meet somebody on this vacation. Um, maybe it's somebody who does live near you, maybe it isn't, but it doesn't matter because your life partner is somebody you'll connect with either on the airplane or when you get there or on the airplane back, who knows. Um, but for the rest of you, they're saying a lot of you are maybe not manifesting what it is that you want into your life. Um, they're saying, you know, you're kind of just comfortable with where you're at. And that's not a bad thing to be comfortable with where you're at, to be comfortable being single or to say, you know what, like the major love of my life that has already come and gone and I don't think that I'll feel that again, whatever. Um, that's not a good energy though, okay? And so your action word in order to help you find this forever type person energy aside from dumping that baggage is just, you know, basically readiness. So it is just dumping that baggage. Are you ready to welcome a new partner into your life forever? Um, you know, so here's a thought. Let's say that you keep saying, affirming to yourself, I just don't have time to date. I'm so busy with work. Uh, maybe decide for yourself that you're going to reduce your hours. Maybe you're salaried and it's time to start telling your employer when they say, hey, can you also take this on? Can you also take this on? And say no. Is learning to say no. I need a better work-life balance because this is important to you too right? And so they're saying clear your mind and just kind of expect the unexpected. You might not expect to meet somebody on a trip. Um, even if it's like a silly little road trip, <laughs> you might not expect that. But it's very possible that you will. Um, and for the rest of you who won't meet their partner that way, what do we have as far as um, potential ways that you will meet them? And they say it's not through um, work. It's not through, you know, like giving charity. It's not any place that you're spending money necessarily. They're saying, and it's um, not through anybody that you've met in your past or had a sexual relationship with in your past, which is a good thing. They say, basically, all we can tell you is it's about 
putting a pretty little bow on things, on the ways you used to think about things, about the people you used to think about, about and like completely going cold turkey, like not just talking to your ex and hooking up occasionally with them, that kind of stuff. They're saying this is how you get to this place where new, really strong relationships that are like really, really connected to that earth energy of like reliability, dependability, consistency, very marriage type relationships um, are going to come into play. Okay. Now for those of you who are already in committed relationships, they're saying, Ooh, okay. So we're going to have to do kind of a lot here. We're going to start with those of you who um, no longer have a sex life <laughs> with your uh, partner. Okay. Where they're saying like, you know, in the recent past, you're thinking about divorce or you're thinking about a breakup. Maybe you did just break up, but you're watching the couple's thing anyway, just because you're wondering, like, what would it have been like if we stayed? They're saying all of a sudden now these big changes are occurring and they don't necessarily feel good to you if you're not taking time for self-care. Um, they're saying the thing is, though, is that this person might be coming back or changing, or the relationship is changing and evolving in a positive way, but you can't see the forest through the trees because you're, you guys are too caught up in arguing about little shit instead of focusing on the fact that you both want the marriage to work long term. So it's like, should we go to therapy or not? You know? And so you're bickering about that shit, and it's just like, fact of the matter is, if we both want to stay together, it doesn't matter what we try to make it work for us. We just need to make it work for us. We'll try it your way first, then my way, whatever. Um, they're saying moving forward, if you decide that you are not going to give energy to fixing this relationship because it looks like for a lot of you, your partners will be, yeah, the toxicity aspect of it ends, but you're not doing yourselves any favor favors. You're just kind of sitting in this indecision energy, which is also a decision. If you're like, oh, I'm not ready to make up my mind about how I want to proceed with this, if I want to break up with you, or if I want to stay with you, if I want to put the work in or not, so I'm just going to sit here. But indecision is a decision that will affect your partner and how they decide to feel about it because if you take a long time to decide whether or not it's worth it to you how do you think that makes them feel and so anyway what they're saying is a lot of you are maybe not making this decision because you're afraid to go deep within and kind of think about how do I actually feel about this person you know um do, do, is this something that really brings me joy is this something I want to put the effort into and they're saying inherently like intuitively, you kind of know already, um, but you're maybe just afraid to kind of deal with it and verbally express that to the other party. And they're saying, you know, you're kind of just content with like, eh, this is what it is. And I don't feel like I need to say anything like they should just maybe know what I'm thinking, or whatever, they should have to draw that out of me, or I don't have to say shit like this is my own internal process. But unfortunately, um, if there's any part of you who wants this to work, you're gonna have to deal with it. Okay. Now for the rest of you that that isn't the situation, because that was the more imperative situation. <laughs> um, that's why we started there. They're saying this is a good month for communication, for verbally, not like through body language or whatever, through verbally communicating with your partner in the spoken language about what it is that you want. This is going to help you feel a lot more sexy. So especially communicating about what it is that you want in the bedroom, what it is that turns you on. And they're saying part of you already knows this, but maybe is a little bit shy. I think Virgos had a similar energy. Um, they're saying like a part of you is afraid that you'll be disappointed or that maybe you'll be made fun of or maybe they won't give it to you. Um, so there's that. But those are all just fears that are limitations that we are creating for ourselves, and energetically are kind of creating a situation in which we're not going to get what we want if those are fears that we have. It's like you don't want to stir the pot by asking. But you know what? If you never ask, you'll never receive because your partner can't read your mind. They're saying all of these things are going to actually make you feel better because I do think for a lot of you, your partner is willing to give you what it is that you want and to really honor you, especially in a sexual way. So... Um, you know, you might be like, hey, I really want to put it in your butt. And then your partner is like, mm, I don't know about that. That's not my jam. Um, maybe historically they've always said no. Maybe this month they're like, okay, let's try it. <laughs> and then you get what you want. Um, but maybe you're afraid it's going to start a fight. But maybe there's a different solution. Maybe you can try something else that's new and fun that isn't that. Um, maybe that's a good opportunity for your partner to bring up something they want and you you know, each give each other what you want. I mean, I don't know, but each situation is going to be different. Like a personal reading, I could get a lot more explicit and detailed about, about that kind of a situation. But generally speaking, 
it's really important to speak about what it is that you desire and what you want from your partner because this could be a really awesome month for you where you're really feeling honored and cared about and loved and pretty much worship kind of put on a pedestal by your partner this month should you be able to effectively communicate. And so they're saying the messenger. Of course they are. <laughs> Um, they're saying, don't think about the past, any experiences that you had, you know, be like disappointments. That's where that fear is coming from. Don't think about the future because that's what creates anxiety. Living in the moment right now, whatever it is that you want in this moment, ask your partner for it. They're likely to give it to you. Okay. Now, for those of you in undefined relationships, what's up? Um, they're saying you're wondering here, like in the recent past, is this fucking worth it? You know? Is I'm standing here and I'm evaluating if the investment that I'm making in time, energy, love, whatever with this person, is it worth it? Um, and some of you are deciding like now you're just going to go, mm, I don't really know and I'm moving on and you're going to have to be super clear and honest about that. Um, for the rest of you who are going to continue down this path, they're saying, well, you know, things have kind of just settled into their own way. You can feel more confident this month about you know, things staying the same, but in a very positive way, like the things that are good about the relationship aren't going to go anywhere. They're saying this will help you to feel more strongly about your partner and that it is maybe moving in the direction that you want it to. Now, as far as an action word goes, for those in undefined relationships, they're saying um, being very grounded in reality is very important for you. Um like kind of focusing on earth energies, the practical, the day-to-day, -day, consistency, routine. Is there anything else that those in undefined relationships need to know? And they're saying like whatever energy of like putting a lot of work in to a relationship or even actual work at your job, like all of this is about to change. And so your relationship should become a little bit more light, a little bit more fun. And they're saying also it should become a lot more sexy, a lot more passionate, um, a lot more exciting exciting. And so this is a really good thing for you guys. Um, they're saying that kind of energy that the Scorpio couples had, like if you're able to communicate what it is that you want, then um, you'll really feel honored and important this month and moving into March. So that's really fantastic. It seems like for um, those who are in undefined relationships, you kind of have the luckiest month as far as the energies go. They're a lot more positive and they're a lot more um, sexy and flirty and fun and just like feeling good about yourself. So for those of you who are moving on from you know the investment of time that you've made in this undefined relationship they're saying that the challenge for you is to manifest what it is that you want next um, a lot of you haven't really given that that much thought and so what they're saying is you know that you just want something that is um, strong and unwavering a very reliable relationship hence that kind of roots energy that we saw there but you're just not feeling right now um, that that is maybe a possibility. So you're going to want to affirm to yourself that it is if it's something you truly want. A lot of you are more focused on what didn't work out. And so that's not actually helping you because when we focus on what we don't want, we just attract more of it in to our lives. Um, so they're saying, you know, really think about what are the benefits if you have recently left a relationship or you're really strongly thinking about it of freeing yourself from that is that you're creating this open space for something better to come in for you, that it frees up your time to have fun and do the things that you enjoy. So that is February, love and light, and I'll see you in March. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!